it's now time for a gadget show exclusive. It's the most hotly anticipated innovative gadget of this decade. It's Google Glass. Google Glass is the technology company's long anticipated venture into creating wearable tech. Described as an augmented reality device, Glass needs to be connected to Wi-Fi or to a smartphone via Bluetooth to work. It's being marketed as a wearable computer, incorporating a camera, a display, touchpad, battery and microphone built into spectacle frames so that you can perch a display in your field of vision, film, take pictures, search the web and translate on the go. And all of this can be done via voice commands. And very fetching you look too, Rachel. Why, thank you. Do you want to see how you look? Yeah. OK, Glass. Take a picture. How And clever. there it is. Ah. And what you can't hear is actually a lady's voice saying that to me. And you can't hear it because it's actually being transmitted through the bones in my face. Yeah, it's bone conductive technology on the Absolutely. side, rather than speaking. So you can get a feel for it, this is what Google Glass looked like when we put it in front of our camera. But when worn by a human, the experience is much slicker, as data is positioned seamlessly in the top right of your field of vision. So what are doing there? But will this ingenious piece of wearable tech appeal to the masses? To find out, we hit the streets of Birmingham. Hi, guys. Google Glass. Google. Do you like... Are you... I'm do you like... I'm loving that. Yeah, isn't it great? <laughs> We'd connected our glass to an Android phone to enable members of the public to see what the device can do. He can actually see it in this prism here. Is that He's like... Got, he can see a computer screen. Is that like your mouse pad? Um, OK, glass. Take a picture. Look! Jason can actually... Whoa! Oh, damn! No! OK, glass. Record a video. Check it. Give There's me a wave. Oh, Give us a wave. Hello! Wave That's at really the good. glass. Isn't that yeah. incredible? Do you want to yeah. try it? Do you want to go? Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so... Say OK Glass. Soon. OK Glass. You can scroll up and down by <gasps> moving your head, see the options. Say anything on the screen. Yeah. Get directions to Selfridges. <laughs> Sausages? <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely what I wanted. <laughs> nice! So there's still some work to do on the voice recognition, but Google claim that Glass is best used on the move. So on with the glasses and time to pound the pavement to put them through their paces. OK Glass. Get directions to... Train station. Boom! Yeah. Birmingham Wall Street. OK, should we get going? Yeah, Touch let's it. get going. Directions, directions coming up. Can you see that on your little phone there? Yeah, I can see directions. Oh, let's do it! Let's do it! Do it, do it, do it. it thinks we're driving. Hey? It thinks we're driving. Can we make it think we're walking? Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> right, let's go. What happens if we do that? Nothing. You just oh, look ridiculous. Like, it? <laughs> Nothing. Let's go. Come on. At present, Glass has no GPS, so relies on pairing with a smartphone for navigation. However, the Field Trip app, that gives real-time info on things and places in the world around you, is available now. Target in sight. Yeah, I think we're really close. There you go. You have arrived. The red mark. So after our first look at Google Glass, we give it a big thumbs up, and we'll be watching its developments with interest.